Hey everyone, and welcome to a new series. We are playing State of Mind. A story-based adventure type of game, I assume. This is a game I really don't know that much about. I do know that it's made by Didalic Entertainment. And I know the graphic style is kind of low poly-ish. And it's mostly narrative-based. I don't think there's any combat in this game, as far as I've seen screenshots. I haven't seen any videos about the game, only pictures and read few descriptions, so that's all my knowledge about this game. But it really felt like something I'm, I will enjoy. So, that's about it. If you're new here, my name is Wapexor and I'm from Finland. And I, I enjoy playing pretty much every type of game there is. My main main interests are JRPGs. And I will probably play some of those in the channel in the future. I pretty much like focus on two bigger games and on the side some minor games. Whenever, whenever. State of mind videos will come on YouTube. Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, 10 p.m. GMT plus 2. So, if you enjoy this game and want to see me play, welcome to the ride. And if you're a returning viewer, thanks for being here and hopefully you enjoy this series. So, let's check out State of Mind. Okay, all characters depicted in this game as well as its story are fictitious. Berlin, 2048. I wonder if the subtitles are on by default. Avalon, Oasis. Wait, this is looking like cyberpunk. <laughs> Am I playing the right game? Okay, law enforcement robots. Okay, that kind of establishments as well. Makes sense. <clears throat> Have you guys seen iRobot? This really feels like that movie at the moment. <laughs> or even a bit like Detroit Become Human, which is an awesome game. Too high, ma'am. Blood pressure. Too high. And his beta levels? Too high. James? Richard Nolan. Your son is extraordinarily gifted. Damn, where have I seen his face before? That's Richard Nolan, ma'am. He's with The Voice.
What's going on? Damn. Stabilizers, now! Okay, interesting intro. So our boy Richard was in an accident. Some sort. Mr. Nolan? <coughs> Richard, can you hear me? Where am I? You're in the central hospital. Can you open your eyes? I can't see anything. Don't worry. Your sight will return soon. Is that Gerald? I found you on the side of the M75. We'll begin with a sight test, and then I'll ask you a couple of questions. What's that Gerald of Rivia from the room. games? Do you see that? Try to concentrate your eyes on that object. Okay, follow the doctor's instruction. That definitely was Gerald of Rivia from the Witcher games. Good. Again. Oh, okay, there. Very good. Your sight will return to normal soon. We're going to do some tests. Cognitive, emotional, memory. It won't take long. Do you know what date it is? Mm, yeah, it was 2048, wasn't it? Saturday, 11th of January, 2048. Very good. That's correct. I will now say a short sentence and then ask you a question about it. Ready? My eyes are blue. My hair is brown. My house is white. Which three colors did I mention? Um, blue, white, brown. Blue, white, and brown? Very good, that's right. Okay, I'm not Can you tell me sure anymore if it's what? Geralt, but... What happened? My family. Where are they? You can't remember anything? If it's Geralt, let me know in the comments. Sure sounds it. Him, but not quite. Um, we saw, we saw both car accident and chaos. So, but we first saw the car accident. I was in a car. There was a tunnel. Give it time. You're in good physical health. You were very lucky, Richard. Now I'm going to reconnect a part of your AR system. Oh. Uh. Unpleasant, isn't it? Your eyes and your brain will have to get used to it again. Can you stand up? Please follow me to the table. Okay. We have movement. Graphic style is pretty cool. The character mo models doesn't quite fit in the environment, but... Oh well. Can't have it always. Mm. In C Palo scan cognition test and doctor. Didn't the robots look like the helper robots? Like exactly like from iRobot? Or am I just imagining things? Okay dude. What you want? Oh, we can examine them. Identified person. Killer Timothy. Sector 7, Berlin. Neurologist. Central Clinics, Berlin. Interesting. That's cool. What else can we do? Oh, we have inventory. And we have a contacts. Tracy's parents. James Nolan. <coughs> Your son. Likes drawing stuff. Photographer, free freelancer, friend, Steve's wife, Grace's best friend. Love school, old fashioned cinema. Julia is freelancer, lives in New York. Medi Central, Mina, who is a friend. Doomsday again, what? Okay, model. Research editor, Steve. 
your co-worker. Life is easier when you don't look too close. Okay, I'm married with Tracy. Walter is co-worker as well. We call this contact anyone? is currently offline. Okay. This contact is currently <clears throat> offline. This contact is this 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 no new cloud messages. Okay. Had to make sure. I think we can Take call like later. The left side of the table. Make it glow yellow and place it on the right side of the table. This test will help evaluate your cognitive abilities. Please concentrate and follow the instruction given by your clinic personnel. Okay. Change the color of the cube by applying light pressure to its side. Should you have any questions, just ask our personnel. Uh, oh, hello. Low red. Yellow. Well done, Richard. Please follow me. There is one more test. But what about this? This pulse scan. Last scanned person, Nolan, Richard. And report ended. It was just that kind of stuff. We can sprint. It's cool. Now what do you okay. want me to do? Who is this? Oh, that's my son. It's my son? Exactly. What's his name? Ooh. Was it John? John, are you sure? Okay, it wasn't John. James? James. Very good. Yeah. Where is James? Is he here? You've already asked about your family. Just now. Don't you remember that? Where is he? It's just a test, Richard. James is a good kid. I love him. Of course you love him. You are his father. Do you get along well? Richard? He's a good kid. Do you know this person? That's... Yes? That was a weird interaction with the doctor there. That looks like your wife. That's Tracy. Excellent. Yeah? Tell me about her. What do you mean? Tell me anything about your wife. A memory, a story, anything. I know that we were, were in a cab. It was nighttime. We were choking around. I took Tracy's hand. Keep going. The onboard systems were malfunctioning. It, it got colder. The windows got foggy. I told her we were almost there. Okay. Do you know how long ago this was? What do you mean? This memory. How long ago was it? I don't know. What about this? Do you recognize this building? Yeah, that's the place where you work. This is really... I have a feeling that... Everything isn't what it seems. This feels like... Like they're... Doing experiments or something. There's something seriously off in that doctor. Yeah, that... I work there. Excellent, Richard. What do you do there, exactly? I'm a specialist in... In... Oh, wait. I write about technology. Very good. And how would you describe your position on that matter? Do you have one? I'm a journalist. My position is the truth. Ah, that came fast. That's the standard line, right? You must say that all the time. Well, can I go back to work, Doctor? Gee, really? We'll wait and see. You suffer from amnistic confabulatory syndrome. Memory lapses, confusion, mood swings. But when you're home, you will start to feel better. You'll see. Okay, Richard. You're good to go. Uh, feel queasy. It'll go away. Your memory will come back probably within the next few hours. Perhaps not completely, 
but let's be patient. Well then, I wish you the best. So, I can go? Of course. You've been given neurostabilizers. If you have any problems, contact me. Okay, but I... I don't remember where... Oh, yes, of course. You live at the West Plaza, Mr. Nolan. The cab will take you home. The medic bot at the entrance will escort you downstairs. What the actual hell? What about my family? You're just gonna let... Let the sick person go, even though he doesn't know where he lives? Get some rest. The medic bot will take you downstairs. Okay, this is... This is really weird. Okay. The sick person there. No smoking. And the voice. Obey. Oh, we lost control. Be the first. By being a Martian colonist, you are helping create a new world. Wonder what it says down there. Probably a brighter future waits for you or something. Okay, what you doing there? Playing video games, I assume? This really doesn't look like a top tier hospital. Good evening, sir. Follow me. I will escort you downstairs. This is a news flash from The Voice, your trusted source of news for Berlin and the Western world. There has been yet another bombing at one of Kurtz Robotics' production facilities. This has been the second attack within the last few days. In Nairobi, tensions remain high as fighting between Eastern and Western drone units continues in the mining region, destroying large amounts of natural resources. Okay, so there are people who doesn't like bots. Sure, it makes sense. Like, there's always people who, lo who don't like technology evolution. You are at your destination. West Plaza, Berlin. Your account has been charged 25 credits. Now this also actually is starting to give me more like Eosex vibes. <clears throat> Sir, please, something to eat. Marcet Inc. is taking applications now. Valid nanoscan required. Mars, our future. By being a Martian colonist on Red One, you are helping create a new world. Interested? Oh. A nanoscan takes no more than two minutes. Start afresh. Decide the future. Be a pioneer. I thought they were gonna like say the punchline from the poster. Tracy, James. Good evening, Richard. I'm Simon, your base five home assistant. Today is January eleventh, twenty forty-eight. It is seven thirty-three p.m. Room temperature, 20 degrees Celsius. You have no more appointments today. Please forgive me. I powered down yesterday. What the hell? Is everything okay, sir? Can I bring you anything? Tracy! You have new cloud messages. Hey. So you... You probably don't have family living with you. Oh, there's a bunch of messages here. From Lydia. Richard, are you there? Come on, what's going on? Did something happen? 
call me, please. What time is it in New York? She's probably asleep by now. Eh? Richard, this is not funny, okay? Pick up now. Did I do something wrong? Let's at least talk about it. You can't just... Ugh, call me back, please. Otherwise, I won't be able to sleep. What's that about? We called Medi Central? Not now. Okay. Guess not. Nolan Tracy. This piece of furniture has not been used for several days. Okay, so they have their separate beds. I guess. Had this window fitted with safety glass, what? Why did I hear Mass Effect 3's Reaper sound? Pencil source of danger, please remove. There will be time for this tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. That kind of like decoration lamp or something. Base V bot. Tracy spot. Okay, so not Richards. Tracy, what is this bot doing here? I told you. If you like, I can answer that question. You shut your mouth. <clears throat> okay, Richard doesn't like bots, it seems. Okay, here's the son's room. Upgrade available. These analog toys are out of the out of date. Digital toys are available via Cloud Hub. Maybe Richard has something to do with the bombing. Since he doesn't like bots. Why are you following me? Jeez. Painted by Nolan James. Kinda abstract. James is our son, Richard. Sir? <sighs> okay, flashbacks. Is this... Tracy, I want this thing to disappear. If I may speak, sir. Okay, Simon really wants to say sir, something. Do you not want to know where your family is? And a scan report. Difference to have map 3. That doesn't tell me anything, but let's take it. <clears throat> that nano scan? That Mars nonsense. Can't she listen to me for once? Okay. What if... Richard doesn't remember it yet. Tracy and James went to Mars. That would be a shock now. He thinks they're all here. All system information regarding this piece of furniture has been deactivated by Nolan Tracy. Huh. Almost empty. Unless we all were supposed to go to Mars and Richard just missed it. Recognized faces. Tracy Nolan, Richard Nolan, James Nolan, Herman Dawson, Peter Nolan. That's from The Voice. Okay, just your basic family photos and one broken one. Interesting. It's a wonderful family, sir. You think? You should take good care of them. Okay. Mart's home version. No updates. <laughs> oh, it's an aquarium. Or is it? Or is it actually a mirror? Voice News, your trusted news source from Berlin and the Western world. This is a news flash from The Voice, your trusted source of news for Berlin and the Western world. That's what I world. said. In Berlin, there has been yet another bombing at one of Kurtz Robotics production facilities. 
This has been the second attack within the last few days. In Ni Oh, damn it. Maybe we'll leave it on. Or we can come back to it. This human powered transportation device was bought on a few years ago. What was the last sentence? Date of last use. Never used. Interesting. Okay, this is Richard's office. Cloud Hub. Your entry to the cloud. This device is regis registered. Pulitzer Prize. Awarded to Richard Nolan on the 28th of May 2037. In the category Investigative Reporting for Outstanding Journalistic Work in Uncovering the Renegade Affair. Oh, that's... I just realized. See how the UI reflects? That's kind of funny. And cool as well. Written by Walter O'Neill. Richard, you really must look at this. This is bigger than Drone Gate. That looks interesting, sir. May I ask who created those records? Walter, my ex-partner. Why are you asking? Those are some complex structures. He is intelligent. <clears throat> he was. Is he dead? I do not have any information about that. I apologize, sir. No, he's not dead. This stuff here made him crazy. And now he hates me. I do not understand, sir. No. How would you? I came out on top. He didn't. That's about the gist of it. Okay. Full open board. Privacy settings. For my eyes only. What do we have here? Tracy got herself scanned for Mars Colony. Oh, this is like... Clues. Piano. Last tuned. Eleven years ago? Do you not want him to be happy? Everything okay? No. Hmm. Chart chess. Search Entertainment Labs Inc. user Nolan James. Ranks highest on this device. James beat me at chess. He's a clever boy. And very adorable. What do you know about that? I play chess at a very high level, sir. The base 5 model... You have absolutely no idea what adorable even means. Knew it. I like your son a lot. And he likes me. You're a pile of junk. Oh, wow. Nothing more. Dude. Calibration key belongs to a humanoid bot of the Kurtz Robotics Space V series. Please follow the operations and maintenance manual. Kurtz Robotics takes no responsibility for damage or data loss due to improper repairs. And there's the world map. Geopolitical information has been deactivated for this map. Current map with political borders of the United States of the West can be found at United States of the West org. United States of the West. Interesting. Upgrade recommended. The contents of this analog data medium are out of date. The current digital version. Available in Cloud Hub. <coughs> Food assembler. Would you like me to assemble you a meal, sir? I can do that myself. <laughs> of course you can, sir. I'm just trying to lessen your workload. That's what I'm here for. Let me do food. The following ingredients are missing to assemble this part. Honey, wheat, palm oil. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh. Is that a... Clean pot V. Okay, I thought that was like a pet's bed. Your autonomous cleaning assistant. Warning, this device is malfunctioning. That can't be good. More drawings. Your son sends his regards. He drew you a picture. I helped him a little. Really? Sends his regards. 
What does that mean? Okay, there's apartment door. Let's talk to the robot. Okay. Where's Tracy? Where is Tracy? Mrs. Tracy is not in. Yes, I can see that. Wow. She wanted me to inform you that she went <clears throat> to her parents for the weekend. Oh, wanted to inform me. Fine, she can stay there. Hey, where's James? What about James? Oh, she took him with her, of course. Correct, sir. They'll be back tomorrow morning. Should I give you a status update? You should do nothing. Okay, so they are alive and on Earth. Let's relieve. How about her intentions? Did Tracy say why she went to her parents? <clears throat> How do you mean, sir? What was her reason? She only told me to be here for you. Okay. Did Tracy ever visit me in the hospital? Does she even know that I had an accident? I can't say anything about that, sir. You can't, or you don't want to. I don't understand, sir. <laughs> exactly. Completely useless. <laughs> Simon. Who gave you a name anyway? Oh, Lydia is online. Uh, Lydia's still awake. Yeah, let's call. Not as long as that bot snooping around. Oh, okay. Let's go to the office. Wonder if we can close the door here. No. Oh, he's coming. Okay. Can I yes, tell you sir. to leave. Uh, shut yourself you down. You know what? Shut yourself down until tomorrow. As you wish. Okay. Clearly, our main character hates robots. Let's see why has Lydia been calling. Richard! God, I was so worried. Where were you? I was in the hospital. What? Why? Are you sick? Why didn't you tell me? <clears throat> I had an accident. an accident, I think, on the M75. Something went wrong with the electronics. Oh god, are you hurt? My head took a bit of a beating. Otherwise everything's fine. You could have been killed. I wouldn't have even known. It can't go on like this. I know. You have to speak to her. Lydia, I've just come out of the hospital. And Tracy isn't here anyway. Really? Where is she? She went to her parents. She took James with her, too. She's bought a bot. Can you imagine? I have a bot now. Me of all people. <laughs> oh. Why are you laughing? She got you a bot? That's nasty. What is she doing at her parents' place? Interesting. Are these two having, like, a relationship, or... Is there something else? We don't really know why she's there. What do I know? Did she leave because of that argument you had? Argument? Yeah, you're... a week ago? You complained about that for hours? <laughs> no idea. The past few days are still a bit of a blur. Do you think she wants to leave? <laughs> What's wrong? Are you scared? Scared? No, why? So why won't you say anything? Because I need to think. Fine. You don't need me for that. Sweetie. No, it's fine. And anyway, I have another customer. At this hour? It's lunchtime in New York, Richard. I told you I'm no longer working nights. Too many creeps. Get some rest. And remember, if you ever need to talk, you have a bot now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, they definitely have some things going on between them. Who are James and, I mean, Richard and Tracy together just because of their son, or what's going on in here? Please don't open the door until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. Hold on tight! Oh God. What? That was Tracy in the car. Okay, so that must be like older memory. A or a faded turquoise. <laughs> or a spectrum. Is that possible? Whatever you wish, Doctor. However you imagine it to be. It's Ray. I have to go. Keep me informed. 
Of course, Mrs. Newman. What? Ah, there's our patient. You just missed your wife. A bit less dazed than yesterday, Mr. Newman. Mm. Looking at you, I see nothing but a piece of art. Your pulse is uneven, but it's expected. Your medication. Otherwise, do you remember the accident now? Remember the... No? Yes. Yes. The cab. It'll all come back, don't worry. Any questions? Don't forget, you can call me at any time. What is going on in here? Suddenly, we have a new character who we are playing as was also in a car accident. Hmm. And there's also questions about the son and the wife. John, is he okay? Your son will need to come in for regular examinations for a while. But there's nothing to concern yourself with. Okay. Adam's son is called John. And Amy? She's fine. She wasn't in the car. Ah. Right. Did you think she was in the car? No. Maybe. I'm still a little confused. Hmm. Me too. That's bad, right? No, no, do not worry. I'm just noting it down. Memory loss is a common post-trauma phenomena. We push these experiences into dark corners of the brain and then come up with conspiracy theories. And yes, you were alone in the car. Hey, about the accident, what do you know? The electronics suddenly started <clears throat> playing up. You were incredibly lucky, my friend. The car is a wreck. Not too fond of flying, hmm? I mean, uh, who rides a cab these days? It must have been the electronics. Now, don't go jumping to conclusions, Newman. Leave that to the experts. In fact, don't make any conclusions. Not in your state. Just relax. No more questions? Very well. If you wish, you may get up. No sports, lots of water, and if you have any problems, you have my number. Don't you worry. Minerva will gently guide you through your day. Minerva? Oh, and please take your son to the clinic as soon as possible. Your wife had to go to an appointment. We expect him daily at 10 in the morning. And then Newman's Welcome apartment. Welcome back, Adam. The world. The world. Dreams. Hands. Arms. Floating. Okay, I'm gonna end the episode there. Now this game is gonna be some big brain stuff and this game is gonna break my brain. I just know it already. So, this game is about... I have absolutely no idea what this game is about. Feels like about some terrorists and that's actually just <laughs> random observation that's actually cool looking lava lamps there um yeah this game really has me hooked already i i, I just want to know what is going on like we had this main character richard was in an accident and had a bad relationship with his wife and we're kind of like exploring his house a bit, getting some minor flashbacks and all that. And then we went to bed day after we learned that wife has gone and taken the kid with him, him, her. Uh, and yeah, after we went to bed, suddenly Adam woke up a whole new area. 
So yeah, I feel like there's a possibility that these are just separate main characters. There's an overarching story or something. But if I'm gonna go to the big brain zone here now, I think there's only one person. And the lousy, lousy world, like Richard's world, it's a reality. And this is gonna be like, the, oh, everything is perfect, everything is just fine, and this is gonna be a dream. Oh well, I guess we'll figure that out as we continue. Hopefully you enjoyed, if you watched this far, and if this is a game that you wish to watch me play, do drop a like, and maybe even subscribe, so you'll with the not notifications about new videos and hopefully i'll see you in the next episode when we start to explore adam's apartment <laughs>